We welcome the love of God in our beings. Aha, because He is Jehovah. Hakuna mengine kama He. We we ni mumbo.
Follow me as I follow Christ. Tatu. Basi Petero na Yohana walikuwa wakikwea pamoja kwenda hekaluni sa sa ya kusali sa tisa na mtu mmoja aliyekuwa kiwete toka tumboni ya mamaye alichukuliwa na watu ambao waliwekwa kila siku katika malango ya hekalu itoyo mzuri ili aombe sadaka kwa watu walioingia ndani ya hekalu mtu huyu akiwaona Petero na Yohana wakaingia hekaluni aliomba apewe sadaka na Petero al, al, na Petero akimkazia macho pamoja na Yohana akasema tutazame sisi akaangalia aka, akitaraji kupata kitu kwao lakini Petero akasema mimi sina fedha wala dhahabu lakini nilichonacho nicho nitakachokupa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareti simama simama uende akamshika mkono wa kuume akamuinua mara nyayo zake na vif, na, vifu, na vifundo vya miguu yake vikatiwa nguvu akaondoka upesi akasimama akaanza kwenda akiangea ndani ya hekalu bwana abariki andiko ni vyema kwenda mahali pa kusali ndio mwenzako ni vyema umekucha mwambie ni vyema umekucha maandiko inasema kuna wanaume wawili ambao walikuwa ni wanafunzi wa Yesu Petero na Yohana wanaambiana na wanatoka kwenda mahali pa kusali wanasifiwe niko na imani watu hawa walipokuwa katika barabarani hawakuwa wanaongea changamoto zao za maisha 
hawakuwa wanaongea shida zao za nyumba hawakuwa wanaongea shida zao za kanisa hawakuwa wanaongelea kuhusu mama fulani ama baba fulani lakini imani yao ilikuwa ni moja tunaenda mahali pa kusali na kama nguvu za Bwana zitatuongoza yeyote tutapatana naye hata kama tumebeba vitu hatutampatia vile tumebeba lakini kile kiko ndani yetu ndicho tutakachoachilia juu yao You must have a direction in everything you do. Don't go in a place of prayer because people are praying. We normally say prayerless people will talk about prayer, but prayerful people will do the act of praying. When you meet people they tell you we are going to pray they are not going to pray and a man and a woman who is convicted by the spirit of God wherever he starts his journey for God he will never speak on it on the road but immediately he goes to the place of prayer he begins to intercede he intercede for the sick he intercede for the church he intercede for men of God he intercede for the leadership of the church there is a man that God listen to his prayer Amen 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 Ukikutana na mtu akwambie leo nimefunga waachana na huyo mtu Amen Are we together Yes Kutana mtu akwambie leo nimefunga waachana na huyo mtu. Huenda mm. amefunga vitu za kwao. Mm. Aha. Ah. 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 Watu ambao wamefunga na wanatarajia baada ya kufunga na kufungua ni ujiza ifanyike. They will never speak about it until they finish their fasting and they wait for the revelation of God to come down and deliver every circumstance that are undergoing those are men and women of God when they start to preach they will preach when they start to sing they will sing and they are led by the spirit of God Ona zivyo sana Ukiona mtu ameingia kanisani na amekaa pale alafu akikuangalia na kuambia unajua mimi ni muimbi wacha na huyo mtu Ona zivyo sana Wachungaji hawajulikani kwa sauti zao wachungaji wanajulikana kuongozwa na roho mtakatifu sio lazima waambie mtu mimi nimeenda chuo cha biblia mimi nimehitimu mimi ni pasta lakini kutokana na matendo kutokana na nia zako watu wenyewe wanakupa heshima kama mtumishi wa Bwana kama uko ndani ya nyumba sema power Watu ambao Mungu anatumia ukileta mtumishi wa Mungu pasta uingie bila kanisa imejaa hivi umekaa pale chini nyume nyamaza kuna mtu roho anaongea naye pale mbele anasema kuna mtumishi wa Mungu pale usikuwe mchungaji ambaye yuko na tabia mbaya unakuta kanisa imejaa lakini kwa sababu wewe ni pasta unapita ndani ukitembea kwa sababu wewe unaitwa huyo si roho wa Bwana roho wa Bwana unanyenyekesha roho wa Bwana ni kujichua roho wa Bwana ni kushuka chini na unaposhuka chini Bwana anakuinua unaposhuka chini Bwana anakuinua Mambia mshiku ya leo Bwana akuinue Mambia mshiku ya leo Bwana akuongeleshe Mambia mshiku ya leo Kiba 
this were very very rich people walikuwa matajiri pesa walikuwa nazo lakini walitaka kukufisha moyo ukwambia pesa hatuna lakini kuna kitu tofauti tutakupatia bwana asifiwe sana nilikwambia jana kuna watu ambao wamekuzingira unapoenda kuomba chumbi ndio raha yao unapoenda kukata mboga za deni ndio furaha yao unapoenda kukopa maziwa ndio furaha yao unakopa mpaka credit ndio furaha yao hawatafurahia wakati umeinuka maandiki na shema walimchukua mwanaume huyu kutoka kuzalia kwake walikuwa wanambeba wanakuja wanamuweka katika lango na kanisa nami nikabaki nikiwa nimejiuliza watu hawa ambao walikuwa wanambeba hawakuwa wanafanya kazi hawakuwa na mapato maana kama wangelikuwa na mapato wangeenda kumsaidia ndio walikuwa na mapato lakini mapato yao ilikuwa ni yao peke yao maana mwanadamu ni yule yule yeye abadilike anakaa tu bila anakaa hivyo lakini maandiki inasema mshiweke tumaini lenu katika wanadamu hawa maana wamefanyika waongo niaminini Mungu tena niaminini mimi maana nyumbani mwa Bwana iko makao mengi Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Yaani watu watafurahia sana kukubeba kila siku na kukuweka mahali pako patabu. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Kuna mchungaji mmoja na mheshimiwa sana aliniambia kitu moja Bishop Job. Aliniambia viwango uheshimiwa. Sema viwango uheshimiwa. Viwango uheshimiwa. Bishop tu mile huko tu mnaona vizuri hivi. <coughs> Uende mahali. Mtu akuangalia hivi akupe shilingi 50 usichukue. <coughs> Viwango uheshimiwa. Afadhali utembee na mguu, ufike kwa jumba, but you maintain your testimony. You maintain your legacy. Kuna watu wamekaa mahali hapa watu wanaofananisha na shilingi ya mshini but i want to speak the oracle of god you are more than 50 baba you are more than 100 baba you are more than a thousand you are more than a koda you are a child of god you are the child of king you are the child of a rich utaenda nyumbani maisha imekuwa ngumu Unamaliza miti tatu unakufa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kuna vitu vingine viangalie ukatai. Kama hakuna, wacha tuseme hakuna. Hakuna. Kama hakuna, wacha tuseme nini? Hakuna. Ngapi bado wananipenda? Haleluya. Ila ndio Bwana litukuze. That's why you mefanya kazi kwa madhabahu miaka mingi. Lakini there is no breakthrough. Umefanya kazi ya Mungu miaka mingi. There is no breakthrough. Kuna vitu vingine ukipewa kata. Amen. Fungu la 10 imetoka shilingi 20,000. 50% ni ngapi? 10. Umejikwa tena umepatia past umechukua 20% na kupeleka zekati zekati bwana asifiwe imebaki kwa meza shilingi 2000 kama shilingi 1500 unasikia pasa anasema hii acha tukawane hii kidogo 100 100 hiyo ni hali ya kujiletea umasikini katika maisha kama vitu havitoshi 
Ambia mtumishi wa Mungu tungependa tukupatie vingi tungependa tukulishe vizuri tungependa umeremete lakini kwa sababu vimepungua wacha sisi tuende basa baki kituombea baki na yuko kituombea basa anapenda kwa nyumba anasema ndio kanisa iko chini lakini wote ambao waliosababisha vitu hivi kapatikana ninawainua mbele za Bwana Wana sifiwa. Lakini ipende kwa kuona. Badala ya kufanya hivyo. Nasema pastor afanaga gamili. Wana sifiwa. Kiongozi kuna vitu usipewe ukubali. Vitu ambavyo hivi kufanya ukashonga mbele wachana nabi. What is 50 bob? What is 300 shillings? Ni unakuta umeleta vita kwa kanisa kabisa. Kwa sababu ya ngapi? Ya tatu. Bati nzuri ama mbaya. Asante sana bishop wetu nimeingia. Nakutambua baba. Wengine wanaingia vile bishop ameingia hapa na walikuwa wanagawa nyama ama kuku wakagawa bati nzuri maana hajaingia kibati baya alafu pasa akaingia na wakaingia watatu so wakaona tu wache hii nyama wachunguzie wafanye nini watumie kiongozi unakasirika kwa sababu ni nyimbo chakula raha <laughs> babi vitu vya tumbo vitafanya tusingie mbinguni wacha vikabaki lakini turidhi ufalme turidhi ufalme turidhi ufalme turidhi ufalme turidhi ufalme sema bawa Walionekana watu ambao wako na pesa. Petero walionekana ni watu wako na mali. Lakini kuna kitu ambacho kilikuwa ndani yao. Bwana asifiwe sana. Wakati mwingine mimi uomba uende unyimwe. Wewe ufanye nini? ili utakapopata utashukuru Mungu ukizoea kupewa hautakuwa na sifa ukizoea bia bure hautajua mbinu ya kutafuta lakini ukinyimwa utaamuka mapema utajichangamusha utafanya kazi kwa bidii na Mungu anasema nami Mungu niko tayari kubariki kazi ya mikono yako na katika kongamano hili ninataka niombe siku ya leo bana kubariki na mikono bana amekupatia akili wacha akabariki kazi ya mikono yako akabariki kazi ya mikono yako akabariki kazi ya mikono yako nasema akabariki kazi ya mikono yako kama kuna waganga kama kuna wachawi ambao kwenda leo
lakini agenda yako ni Mungu akondolee maombi ambayo yako ndani ya maisha yako Mungu akondolee vikwazo ambavyo viko ndani ya maisha yako Mungu akondolee vishirani ambavyo viko ndani ya maisha yako kuna madhabahu ilipandwa madhabahu ya ushirikina ambapo mnasoma lakini hampati kazi unachanga nyumba zikifika lindo zinakwama roho bana nashewa anawasha moto sasa kila madhabahu madhabahu ya bana madhabahu ya sadamu madhabahu ya nyoka tunatengeneza tunatengeneza Now 